is Marie from ThriftyCookieMom.com. In this week's video, I will show you my version of Vietnamese spring rolls. And it's a super easy and fun recipe to do. This is something that we like to order when we go to uh, Vietnamese restaurants. And I just tried it out not too long ago and realized that it was so easy to make. So I'm going to share the ingredients and the directions on how I make it. This is a great appetizer for parties and also a nice light meal. So uh, go ahead and try and then let me know what you think. Alright, today we're making Vietnamese spring rolls and we're using this spring roll wrapper. You can get this at your local Asian market and I can't quite remember how much it costs but it's pretty inexpensive, much cheaper than when you make it at home versus um, ordering it out. So ingredients you will need would be the spring roll wrappers. You need a plate with some hot water. You need some lettuce, some uh, green onions, cilantro. I like to use jicama and jicama um, is something that you can buy from your grocery store and then I just like to cut them into strips like this. I want to use two plates, one for rolling the spring roll and one for the finished product. We need some shrimp, cooked shrimp, and some noodles, rice noodles. So the shrimp, I just cut in half. So you just slice it in the middle. And to assemble our spring roll, I'm still new at this, so uh, Pardon me if it doesn't turn out quite as lovely as I want it to. This is what your um, spring roll wrapper will look like. It's kind of tough, but we'll soften it by dipping it in the hot water. So you just put it in the hot water. And it's not so hot, I think. So I let it sit there for a little bit. But okay, so we just want to go ahead and you don't have to soak it too long because it'll get soft. Okay, and then just put that on your plate. And you can't see very well, but your wrapper is right there and it's soft now. And then I just want to go ahead and get some lettuce, put it on one edge of the wrapper. Okay, after the lettuce, I am going to go ahead and put some jicama. You can also use some bean sprouts if you want it. Um, I just happen to like the taste of jicama. I like the texture of it. Okay, and then I'm going to put some cilantro. Um, just want to put the leaves. So, just take the leaves, part of it, put it right there. And then I'm going to get some green onions. Take some of the noodles. And these are just noodles that I went ahead and boiled earlier. Those are rice noodles. And you usually buy them in the Asian market. And um, there are directions on the packet. So just boil the noodles. And once they're ready, you can use them. And I usually use two shrimps for each one, and I slice them into halves. So that's four pieces, but they're actually just two shrimps. Okay, now I'm ready to roll. So to roll, you just want to grab the edge of your um, spring roll, and you want to go over. It's like rolling a burrito. Okay, roll it once over, and then you want to pull the sides. Just be careful because you don't want your wrapper to tear. Okay, and then do the other side. Okay, and then you just roll your spring roll tightly. Okay, so it goes all the way up like that. And this is what your spring roll looks like. See, some people like to put some uh, boiled pork in there, but I didn't have a chance to do that today. So this is what the finished product looks like. And I'm going to do another one. All 
right? So let's grab one of these and again soak it in your water. And it doesn't have to soak for too long and it's going to get really nice and soft. so it's easier for me to fold it. Okay, I'm going to get some leaves. Get some lettuce on there. And some jicama. Some people like to put carrots and bean sprouts and just put whatever um, veggies you like. And some cilantro. And you can put also um, some mint. I know some people like mint, but I don't like it too much. So I'm just going to skip that. Put some green onions. And then get some noodles. You can put as much noodles as you want. And and these are not spaghetti noodles. These are rice noodles that... Um, you can buy from the Asian market. Just put them in the middle. You can put more or less depending on how, how much you want on your spring roll. And then we'll get our shrimp that we sliced. And see, once you get the hang of it, it's not as difficult. So, okay, fold. Oh, be careful because it does break easy. And you don't want it to break. Okay, so fold it over once. And you want to move the sides into the middle. Just fold it towards the center. And you want to go ahead and fold it over and just do it as tight as you can. And there you go. And this is something that as you practice, you'll get better at it. I'm not as good yet, so it doesn't look as pretty yet, but it tastes wonderful. So here is our finished product. And you can go ahead and serve this with um, peanut uh, dipping sauce. Or you could serve it with you could serve it with this fish sauce that you can buy from the Asian market. And what I like to do is I serve it with the fish sauce. Um, and it's a little bit too sticky for me, too thick. So what I do is just, um, I put this with a little, I dilute it with water. So I add some water, a little bit of water, and add a little bit more fish sauce. And I get my spring roll. So there you go. I hope you try it and let me know what you think.